Okay, it's the next day, and this is it's, it's tacky, it's not dry, but it is tacky. Um, so I'm going to start it, and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to put a coat of uh, uh, Titan Buff or Warm White or something very light over top of this, and then try to bring the textures out. And I'm going to try to do it with a brayer. And this is uh, Hobby Lobby's, uh, it's a Hobby Lobby brayer, but it's not the soft one, it's the hard one. I like to use the hard one when I want to bring out texture. As you can see, it, it, it doesn't uh, touch the surface, it just gives me a nice, but it's not giving me the coverage I want, so I might go to the soft brayer anyway. This is the soft one. You can see the difference between the two. I'm still getting the texture, but I'm getting more coverage. I've got to try to remember to keep my big head out of the way. take a soft brayer and see if I can blend this a little bit better. This is a soft brayer. Uh, it's actually one of those soft uh, foam rollers that you can get at the craft store, at the hardware store, and at, or at one time I used it for acrylic. And you can see you can use it over and over and over. It's still, it's still soft. What you do is after you use them, you dip them in water or either uh, uh, mineral spirits and squeeze it and dip and squeeze dip and squeeze <coughs> and you can use these over and over but what I like them for is to do some blending yeah you said you, just, you love some of the stuff <coughs> hello hi how are you hi do some work with the oiler boiler and I'm going to lay this on the floor. Uh, first I want to show you what the oiler boiler is for those of you who are not familiar with it. This is what the oiler boiler looks like. It is a small container with a needle on its head. That is the blue and it has a small needle. Here is the one with the pink head and the needle is much bigger as you can see so you get a wider flow. I get these off of Amazon and they're called Oiler Boilers. I'm going to lay this on the floor and I'm going to draw with it and I'm going to try to take a picture with my phone or a video with my phone so you can see what I'm doing but I have to lay it flat. Okay I'm going to put it back up on the wall and we're going to pull it. When I say pull it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, Master Meister and just lightly touch it. And you want to wipe it on 
into your paper towel right away. You can also spray it. With the spray bottle that has gamma salt in it. Well, hi. Hi there. Hi. I'm going to let the uh, solvent uh, evaporate off of this before I go further. So I'll be with you in just a minute. I want to. You see, you see this thin line right here. That was done with the blue thin line, and all the rest of them was done with the big ones. So I think I want some more thin ones. So I'm going to lay this back on the floor and do it again, and then I'm going to put it back up on the wall. And when you do uh, put the, uh, use the oiler boiler and you use the uh, uh, gamosol that's inside of the oiler boiler, which is an odorless mineral spirits, uh, you want it, if your surface is wet, you want, probably want to leave it on for about 30 to 45 seconds. If it's drier, you want to leave it on longer. And there's a learning curve. Uh, with it, the more you use it, the more you'll know how long to let it on before you pull it with your bowl scraper. And it's been about 45 seconds. So we'll see what we have. And always have a uh, paper towel ready. Okay, here we go. Now you can see the thinner lines coming out. These are your thinner lines because I like thin and thick lines. Liking it. Okay, so now I have thin and I have thick lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up uh, most of this again with white and I'm going to have a little bit of white at the bottom. That's the plan. Okay, I'm going to put another coat and this is what I'm using is um, warm white, gambling warm white and I'm using a soft Lobby Lobby Brayer. I'm going to put another coat, very light coat, on top of this. You can still see my line work.
I'm going to lay it back down on the, on the ground again, on the floor, because I want some of these lines to go down into this. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Okay. I'm put this back up. I'll also let some drip down from the top on this side. Now when I pull it, you should see the difference. In about 45 seconds. Okay, now you can see down here, you can see marks. Now I'm going to let this uh, evaporate off. Then I'm going to work some more up here at the top. I want to put some gray into it again like I had before. You can see a little bit of the gray here, but not a whole lot. So I'm just going to wait for about a minute, let the OMS evaporate off the board. But I like the darker section here. Might put a dark up at the top with a white line in it. Let's try that. Let's do that. I have, I have to get some more of the uh, dark. And I was using um, a spalty. I have to get the spalty out because I put it away. I think what I'm going to do is to put a piece of masking tape across and then paint it and then lift the masking tape and see what I have to make sure it's straight. Have to measure that. And that's pretty good. And as you can see, that masking tape does stick somewhat to it. So now I'm going to go into it with some asphaltium. I have it fully charged. down just a little bit further because I don't want this width here and be the same width as that. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit further. edge. 
Maybe I'll put another piece of tape down. Hold on. Hold on. It is a little corrected. I like that edge better. Now let's pull the other tape off and see if we like what, what we've done. don't like what I've done. Does that answer your question? So what we're going to do now up here is the same thing as we did down here, but our line should be more white instead of dark. I'm going to take this down again. I just try different things and see what I like and what I don't like. See, I just touched that. That's how wet this is. And we're going to pull it right away. this area again. And I'm also going to stand back and look at this. What I'm seeing is this close to the same width. It's not quite. But I'm going to take some more white and gray over this area and just soften this a little bit. Uh, regular deli paper. You scrunch it up. You can get unusual marks like so.
Now I'm going to let this sit up for a little bit and then I'm going to scrape into it. So I'm going to let it sit for about, oh, 45 minutes to an hour and then I'm going to go back in and do some scraping. So see you shortly. What I've decided to do is to cover it up with white again or warm white because it was just too much going on. I wanted to settle it down a little bit and then I'm going to go back in and make more marks but there's not going to be quite as many. thinking about adding some black up there. You can still see a lot of my marks. A little bit of black. See some of that brown show through. Gives it a little bit more depth, I think. I might be sorry about this. I like that. It just gives it it's just a little bit. going to stop here because I want this to dry and we will continue on with this on Tuesday so um, and I know exactly what I want to do so but sometimes that's bad when you go into the studio and expect what's gonna happen you're in trouble but I have an idea shall I say where I want it to go so I'm gonna just let this dry now because I'm very happy with it. So we will see. Okay, here's Thanks, guys. Off. What's going on? I like the softness of that line. And I like the softness set at the bottom, too. You can still see some of my lines coming through, which I like. So that's where we're gonna we're gonna leave it today. I just did this at the bottom, and I did that with the bowl scraper just by pressing it in and making lines with the bowl scraper. It gave me something a little bit different because my other lines are curvilinear; these are straight. So that's what it looks like now at the bottom. And I'm thinking I like that.